What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're gonna be doing another top five. Now the thing about this top five, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, we are gonna be doing top five waifus um and seven deadly sins grand cross now um shout out to my boy jt uh he was the one that he this this is how like he actually told me to do a top five on titties for this game right now there's no way i could really do a top five over that because it's just like if i'm rank i, I can rank the titties but it's like i'm not ranking the unit per se and it just didn't work out i don't know but anyway so what my pretty much my middle end with him was that i would do a top five waifus i was like i won't do titties but i will do top five waifus i can do that for you i got you so uh with that this video is going to be uh top five waifus in seven deadly sins grand cross so um there are no honorable mentions. There's going to be five units. Now, the reason why... I'm going to tell you why these units are like in each part where they are. And I'm going to talk about their counterparts. Because some of these units have multiple forms. So, we'll get to that. But anyway, so starting off, right? Starting off, fifth place, we have Gila. Now, um, I've never really liked Gila like that to begin with as far as the show goes, right? But even in the game, you don't see many people use her. Not saying that she's bad. I'm not saying she's bad, but when it comes to this list, she is the worst one out of this list, right? Um, in my opinion, she's just, she's just not, she's lackluster. Like, when it comes, like, a lot of stuff that she can do, other people can do, like, right? Like, you have single target damage, right? You, the, the amount of units that, that are better than her at single target damage is a lot. So, um, there is that for sure. Um... But I mean, 22% to a uh, single target, 300% uh, and you cleanse enemies buff, then 400% cleanse enemy buff. Not that bad, not that bad. Um, right here, inflict 180% damage and ignite for three turns. Increases damage by 10% can stack. Then uh, you ignite for three turns, but you cleanse a single enemy stance and inflict more damage. And then on the three star, 400% damage, same ignite and you cleanse enemy stance as well. So it just goes up with damage, right? Uh, her ultimate, 350% damage to all enemies and flick fatal. Fatal is critical damage times two. So she does have a little crit mechanic, kinda. Um, yeah, and then if you combo with Hauser, it's 400%. But her passive, all allied HP skills are enhanced by 15% in extermination battle. So um, she might be good in extermination, I don't really think though. All allied HP skills. So I guess healing, I guess that's what that means. Um, I don't know. But uh, I don't think she's that good. Uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel the same way uh, that I do. So uh, with that, uh, yeah, that is rank five. So going on to rank four. Now, <laughs> guys, y'all know, listen, listen, look, guys, if it was my choice, right? Like, like if we weren't playing about, if we were talking about the game, Deanne is first. Deanne is first place, baby. She's first place for me. I love Dian so much. She's first place, but unfortunately, I do I do have to be fair to the game. I can't just you know I, I can't be biased in this. So uh, Dian is fourth place. Now the reason why Dian is fourth place, Dian is a really good unit, right? Not not only is Coin Dian a good unit, this Red Dian is also a very good unit. Um, she where's it at? Okay, so she applies crushing, which uh, that's not. That doesn't matter, but right, this card right here reduces enemy defense skills by twenty percent and still attack for two turns, right? And then um, the it goes up by percentage right there, right? So that's just a really good debuff. Um, she's not as good as the blue one. The blue one is better. Uh, the blue one right here, she can still attack skill for one turn or two turns, and it goes up with damage. Uh, her second ability apply burst which increased damage done to targets with buffs which is pretty good but it's aoe right so um and then her ultimate's aoe as well but her passive each turn increased on attack by six percent this makes her a lot better now like i said she's not crazy good but i have seen her one shot units in pvp she's done a lot of crazy stuff so um she definitely has the potential to be 
very good so that's why i put her fourth now all the people in front of her it's kind of unfair right it's not as fair for the the, the fourth and fifth spot because the people in front of them are just actual monsters they're disgusting right let's just be real um so next third place we have jericho now y'all again you guys know about me J jericho is a close second when it comes to who my favorite waifu, waifu in this show is so if it was up to me jericho would be second place but that's not the case so jericho is third jericho has one of the highest attack stats base attack stats in the game right now that's not where that's not it right i know her um this says 110 percent right oh dark skin that's a really small percentage oh my god uh it goes up to 165 and then it goes up to 275 but the reason why this is so low it's the same reason why demon meliotis does weak damage technically in the beginning but he can has the potential to do dumb damage she applies weakness right weakness and um damage done to enemies with debuffs multiply times three so at one star if they have a debuff this becomes 330 percent one star she's gonna be doing dummy damage right dummy damage this is almost 900 percent right with with weakness applied like dog i'm telling you it becomes she becomes very good if you get that weakness off then her next skill um inflict 130 percent damage uh 195 325 okay low like i said lower percentages but you have to understand this right here is going to be giving her dumb damage then apply bleed additional 80 percent damage done at the end of each turn that's going to be giving her a lot of damage as well right then on t and you got to understand right this right here is a debuff you literally use this then use your first card good damage very good damage ultimate 560 percent to a single target apply fatal crit damage times two very very good right um you can combo her with gila to do more damage but her passive this is what makes her a lot better as well each skill you use in this units um each skill you use with this unit increases this unit's crit chance by five percent and it stacks infinitely apparently because there's no <laughs> there's no indicator that it does not so she starts crit chance is 10 percent but you just continuously use her moves keep her alive she's going to eventually have 100 percent crit chance on top of weakness doing dumb damage on top of bleed debuffing and fatal doing double crit she becomes very very good mid late game she's very good um second place we have elizabeth now guys the first and second place is very interchangeable depending right there's a lot of different situations each can be used for right now um not just this elizabeth this elizabeth is very good uh her healing is insane her ultimate is very good giving old gauge and her passive is good giving old gauge as well but we do not want to forget red double red elizabeth right let's just say both of them right this elizabeth heals as well she's a free unit you get her after beating story uh, her passive is amazing and she applies cure on her ult. Very, very good, right? Um, and this Elizabeth, if she's not attacked, bro, look, she, she probably does the most damage in the game if she doesn't get attacked. Um, she's one of the best units for Red Raid. And I mean, obviously, she's not that good for other stuff because she can get attacked. But I'm just like, the potential of this unit is very good as well. She's, she's very good. Very, very good. Um, all three Elizabeths are. Now, um, I want this Elizabeth for Grey Demon, which it sucks I don't have her. I didn't pull her. I, I want to pull her on the normal banner with an SSR ticket or something. Please, RNG gods, help me. Um, but yeah, she's very good. Good, decent. You're building her attack uh, HP recovery, well, recovery rate, because her healing is based off her attack stats. So she's going to be doing good damage because it's based off of that. She can cleanse, stance, and buff with her attack, which is good. Um then two and three star healing will cleanse debuffs right and it's aoe for her team um just very good elizabeth is a very good unit all around all three of them well this one as well and then this one's good for red demon but yeah so anyways number one waifu and i know you guys already guessed it we have merlin now the thing about merlin right both merlins are debatably very good right they're both 
pretty pretty good okay um i put this merlin up just to put a merlin up that uh, number one i want to get that out of the way because I, I don't know who's better they're both good for different situations the fact that merlin can freeze on her one turn on, on a one star card is very good and she gets increased damage on her two and three star card and if you get the three star card 200 percent damage is so good right um she can seal recovery skills which is very good um her ultimate can seal attack skills and then her penetration rate goes up on her passive which is really good right um green merlin right she can take away old gauge by one or by three if it's three star she can produce a shield um based on the attack on her attack so you build you build her attack as well um the other merlin you don't have to build her attack but i say build her attack for her passive she's gonna be doing some good damage there um but yeah perfect cube is so good she has the same ultimate though as other merlin and then her passive she gives an old gauge to all allies so both merlins are very good very very good but um i feel like merlin merlin and elizabeth are pretty close like they could either one could take first or second i just put it like this to put it like this but um yeah third place jericho fourth is deanne fifth is gila so um yeah anyways that's gonna be about it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys did in the comment section below with that being said i will see you guys next time peace